part three of day one spatchcock chicken with filmy salad, wedges, red pepper dip. Part three, so the timer on the oven just went. We've had the chicken in for an hour and I actually covered it towards the end. So depending on your oven, you might want to actually put it on around 160, 170. Gas mark between four and five. Got a wedges here that's been cooking through on the same heat. So we're just going to give these a little bit of a mix up. Basically what we're doing now. The low heats to sort of cook these through, to cook the chicken through. Should we just get a nice coating on there? And then I'm just gonna set these aside actually for a minute. Check on old chicken. And I noticed that the wings were kind of getting a little bit burnt. Well not burnt, but they were cooking too much, so we just wrap a little bit of foil around them. As you'll see in the instructions in the recipe in the instructions in the recipe, um, in between cooking, sorry, you want to be checking on your chicken in between the cooking times and all of this, all of this lovely juices here. We just put this back over the skin. It's called piercing. And basically just getting a lot more flavour on the skin. Also stop it from just drying out a little bit. So we've got some slits in the chicken breast there, so just make sure you get some juices back into there. This is gonna taste amazing, by the way. What we do now, we're going to turn the turn the air, uh, turn the oven up. You want it at around 210. I'm going to let that just heat up for for five minutes or so. We're going to check on our red pepper dip. Wow! Let me give this a little blitz up now. So if you've got one of these, little hand blender, awesome. If you haven't, you'll have to use a normal blender. But just be careful, when you're using hot food in a blender, even now, I'm gonna actually... Actually, going to do with this. We're going to add a little bit of water just to give it a bit of a helping hand. A little touch of water. This is going to simmer down anyway, so it will juice off. You just want to gather the mix, gather the mixture into the corner, and again, just be careful with this. <laughs> It's actually easier if you do bigger batches of this. So feel free to actually increase the ingredients on the recipe, double or triple them up, and then this will just this will stay in the fridge for like. If you top it with a little bit of olive oil, which I will do at the end, a little bit of olive oil in at the end, what will happen is the olive oil, olive oil will sit on top, and it'll keep it fresher for longer. And this should keep in the fridge for at least a week. Oh, 
bottom. Depending on how chunky you like it, you can leave it with some bits in. I always like to do that. I even like to throw some raw pepper in at the end. And another thing I've done with this, I did add some more smoked paprika. We put in a tablespoon of that. I'm going to taste it. Lovely. Lovely stuff. Needs a little touch more salt. And again, because you fasten all day, you can actually add some more pepper. You can have more salt in your diet, believe it or not. Salt is very important. Very, very important. Now, when we're fasting, we don't hold on to much water. But we hold on to less water, which means we hold less salt. So you can actually have a little bit more salt in your diet. Leave that out to simmer away. I'm going to put these sweet potatoes back in. We're going to put that chicken back in. Definitely keep an eye on your chicken. This is like the last 10-15 minutes of cooking time and you don't want to burn it. As we can see there it's got quite, quite a bit of colour on it but I do want a little bit more crispiness to that skin. Uh, I will give it one more last little base before it goes back in on a high heat. Wow, this is going to be insane this. Not that I haven't cooked it before but... I'll tell you what. A touch extra. Now we've got our halloumi to cook and this just goes in the, this is going in now actually. So let me find a tree. Halloumi going onto the tree. Small paprika. touch of honey, half a teaspoon worth and into the oven with the chicken and halloumi just check this in five minutes check it in five minutes give it a little bit of a mix again just turn it over spread that on a little touch awesome into the oven Ingredients to go into the red pepper dip at the end. Let me just get a knife. I fear a knife. Okay, so red pepper. Just going to make some small pieces to go in to the red pepper dip at the end. Add more texture to the red pepper dip. Really. Take this 
coriander or cilantro if you want to be technical, cilantro. Turn that off. Or red pepper dip. Yeah, most important time for the chicken is it depends how much effort you want to go to but honestly doing this throughout the cooking especially towards the end is just going to add so much flavour to that skin fit this and just get some of the underside of the skin that I just really want to get. See this round here. Okay. Back into the oven. around plug into the oven alumi again I'm just want to give this a bit give these That's your part three of your meal one spatchcock chicken with all the rest of it. We'll be back again shortly just to finish this off.